How was it already 11 o'clock? <sighs> Welcome back, everybody. No brush required, episode 75 today. I can't believe it. I'm gonna grab Barbara Reed, my host, Barbara Reed. My name's Tamara Grant, and uh, we'll get chatting. for us today. <laughs> You never know what's going to happen. Hi, Douglas. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. Hi, Jules. I see people are popping in good. already. That was quick today. Good, 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 good. Because we don't want to just have the two of us here. Well, we can have the two of us here for a we little could. while. <laughs> we could. But I mean, like, with no audience. Yes. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. okay, too. We, I always just assume that nobody's paying any attention yeah. when we're chatting and we just chat away. No, but nobody's interested in us. Oh, well, whatever, right? Whatever. whatever, How, are you? whatever. How are you, Douglas? Good day today. It's cold in my oh. studio today. Look what I got on. Like, cozy yeah. stuff. It's Me too. pouring rain. It's gray. It's like in your bones, chilled. We are full on November. Yeah. Which means misery. <laughs> If you're new to our weekly oh. art chat, um, we always start with a talk of the weather because we're Canadian and we live on opposite sides of the country. <laughs> so we like to compare notes. <laughs> it's important. It's really important. It's <laughs> at the stage for the rest of the day. Yeah, and I think it provides context. <laughs> That's right, right. Especially when we look like we're all bundled up. Somebody could be watching in, I don't know, someplace warm and wondering where in the world we're coming from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been chilly like in a long time. So I guess I better get used to it. I guess so. It's happening. Mm -hmm. um, so we, this is a pop, what we call a pop on episode. I was looking back because I was thinking, when was the last time we did this? So normally we have a guest. Most of the time we have a guest. Um, every now and then we do what we call a pop on episode where we chat and the conversation goes wherever and we invite anybody who's watching who wants to come on and have a little square and chat with us to do so. Um, so we'll give you reminders during the broadcast about how you can do that. Mm -hmm. I think we'll probably chat for just a minute because we had a couple things to talk about. But our last pop on was August 8th. No, yeah. you're kidding. No, I'm not. I went back and looked and Janet Jardine came on with us. That's right. She did, she did come on. She did. So we've had guests every other week, except for the weeks we weren't on because of Jack, Jack Hammering. Hammering. and I can actually hear it but it's not on like in our yeah. condo build yeah, yeah. next door I don't know if you can hear it but <laughs> there's always something going there on there always yeah. is for, yeah. for sure um so we have guests next week and the week after and can then we, say who, or we can we say, say who? yeah um we have uh, Pauline Jans next week right mm -hmm. and then the week after Margot Roy Margot Roy and then that puts us up to December 12th, which is our next episode of No Book Brush Required Reads. And so this is the book, All the Beauty in the World, um, the Metropolitan Museum of Art and Me by Patrick Bringley. I'll put it in the show notes and you can also find it uh, pinned to the top of my feed. But if you haven't done a book club with us before, we try to read the book ahead of time yes. and then we have a conversation about it. And if you haven't read it, you're welcome to join in because maybe it'll help you find your next read. Uh, but if you have read it and you have time, because it's not a really heavy read, um, do do so and come in and tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to start reading it, I think, um, when I finish the one that you recommended. Right. What's it called? Um, Dear, Dear Edward. Edward. And there's no way I'm putting that book down no. to pick up another book. Then so. you need to read that author, Anne Neapolitano. Mm -hmm. You need to read her newest book, which is called Hello Beautiful, mm -hmm. which I just love. Yeah. Okay, so there's yeah. uh, there's my next one after uh, the No Brush Required yeah. Reads books. Yeah. Those Always are good books. to have a great book on the go. For sure. And we like book recommendations too. So if somebody has a great book, like a holiday read, put it in the comments For because sure. um, it's sure. important. Yeah, so we can do a quick little catch up. We don't really don't do a lot of self promotion on here, but there's a lot going on for both of us right now, right? With yes. shows and things. So yes. What have you got going on? Yes. Uh, well, actually, to write it down <laughs> because 
that's good. I thought I'm going to mix up dates and uh, forget. But uh, so I've got um, seven pieces, seven uh, 12 by 12 pieces in the Matilda Squared, a square foot show at the Matilda Gallery and Art Bar in Stratford. And my goodness, if you live in Southern Ontario and you're looking for a day trip, go to Stratford. They've got so much. I mean, the downtown there is fantastic. Great shops, great restaurants. The Matilda Gallery and Art Bar is phenomenal. We went um, to the opening on Friday night and I don't normally do these things I because know. they're at night and <laughs> we've had a great uh, thread, thread going and threads about that. Um, and we drove, Roman and I drove in the dark all the way to Stratford, um, but it was worth it because it was just such a cool space and the art is fantastic and the way they hung it the owner hung it was kind of by colors i was looking at it and going i think i can see that so she had she did it kind of like the rainbow so all the the reds right. and they kind of merged into the oranges and yellow and it was just beautifully beautifully curated and um great food and great cocktails and just a really fun vibe so that's on I don't know if I mentioned November 17th to December 10th. And then the next one is Summer and Grace uh, Gallery in Oakville. The Joy to a Holiday Small Show. I've got four little pieces in there. And that's November 24th to December 24th. Um, and then just for this coming weekend in the Arts Burlington Holiday Sale, which is at the Art Gallery of Burlington, it's all the guilds um, sharing their holiday stuff. So little I've got uh, what do I have a 24 by 24 and then two 12 by 12 so awesome. if you're if you're part of that if you're actually going to be dropping stuff off there if you're in one of the guilds I'm going to be in the intake table for the BFA okay. so I get to see all the stuff as it uh, comes in so that's me so how about you well I'm, I'm just going to say somebody this week on Instagram I noticed they had a really lovely uh post that was just a summary of all the places their work was i think you should do a post and just put all of that stuff in one post as opposed to i know we've been been they've been doing the pr and marketing for all of these different shows but sometimes it's nice to see them all in one place so well, that's a good idea good so idea there's my post for tomorrow exactly. because i'm always looking for ideas my yeah. goodness yeah. oh i need my glasses on for this comment oh there's a book recommendation that just went by did you get it mm -hmm. Nope. Let me just see if I can find it. Small Things Like These by Claire Keegan. Are you writing this down? Small. Hang on. Small Things Like These by, like these. Yep. by Claire Keegan. K-E-E-G-A-N. Powerful little book that takes place during the Christmas season. Ooh. Excellent. Thank you. Great recommendation. Yeah. And yes, pretty, you're at the table with me, the intake table. So we're going to have fun. Sorry, I touched something. I didn't know what happened there. I don't know how to get rid of a comment once I pulled it up. So now it's all over your face. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I don't see it. No, it's on my screen. Oh, okay. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Um, Peek to the side. That's okay. <laughs> I, okay, I so I got that one. So if you see, if you see more come up. Yeah. I don't I've done my glasses there. again. Perfect. Um, I've got a few things going on right now. I'm like you. I don't like to go out to evening openings, but I had one last weekend, Port Moody Arts, Pomo Arts Winter Treasures. It's a local show. A lot of small, giftable things. I did buy some pottery because I have a really hard time saying no to ceramic yeah. bowls. <laughs> So um, I've got four little pieces there that I had uh, framed, rustic pearl frames. Those are the gray frames that you helped me choose. Um, where else have I got stuff? Out and Act, uh, Maple Ridge Art Gallery. There's a, a community, I think, I forget what the theme is now. It's like, it's about your community. So I put some mm. pieces in. I have three pieces there. Um, I just had a piece come home from someplace else. Oh, online, Art artworks square foot show right now is going on and i've been sharing about that um, i'm involved in the online show not the in-person show because to take the ferry to the island and, or to ship work was just a lot very expensive for mm. um for what it is but one of the pieces this piece uh sold already yay and it's so, done it. thank you so i'm really excited to, to get that email um that'll get sent off and then i'm still uh the window artist at the federation gallery on granville island for the rest of the month so if you're down if you're local in vancouver down on granville island wandering around 
make a point of going to the Federation Gallery and look in the window and I've got nine paintings in one of their gallery windows for the month, which is so exciting. Awesome. I'm, gonna go, I'm going tomorrow. I have not been down yet to see because it's a bit of a hike for me. Is it? How, how far away is it? Well, you know, 45 minutes to an hour drive, 45 minute drive. Mm -hmm. But it's just, you know how it is, trying to fit it in with everything else that's going on right now this time of the year. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, is that a selling show or is that it a... It is. It's so what they call it is they do, it's by invite. There's 12 months of the year. They invite one artist a month who's, I guess, been showing with them because I've had a lot of single pieces in their group shows this year. Uh, they reach out and they send the, they invite you. Um, there's no charge to show it. They curate it. You give them the images and they decide what they want to show. Um, they hang it. She did a beautiful job hanging it. And then it's just their normal commission structure, 35, 65 commission on it. So, mm -hmm. and they take care of all the selling and the shipping and they run an online show at the same time. So anybody who isn't local, but wants to see the pieces that are in it can go to the Federation Gallery's website and look, they have three current ex exhibitions and that's one of their current exhibitions. So that's great. I've noticed, and I don't know if this is a new phenomenon since COVID, but um like for the shows that i'm in all of them are also online so yeah. i don't know if that was something that was going on before covid or because now in-person shows they also now have this like if you can't make it actually to the space but you still want right. to see what's in there buy it which i think is great i think so too mm -hmm. it really is i mean it helps it also the thing is it helps um like a gallery that's local mm -hmm. very locally constrained say on an island or far away from other places they can get they can expand their um their roster of artists by allowing people who are more distant to participate in the online show mm -hmm. because you know the cost of shipping your work some packaging and shipping your work somewhere that um and if it doesn't sell then you have to pay for the cost of shipping it back just starts to add up a lot, especially when we're looking at the size of a lot of these smaller sh shows, right? When we're looking at 10 by 10 pieces or 12 by 12 pieces, by the time you pay the exhibition fee or the jury fee and you pay your shipping and you pay, you know, um, the commission, mm -hmm. which is all great. If you don't sell anything, you're out of pocket mm -hmm. for all of that, right? Mm -hmm. So, you yeah. know, it was nice Our about uh, the Matilda um, Squared show and this the Summer and Grace shows, they didn't charge, they didn't have a jury fee, which I thought, because yeah. usually there's always, yeah. <laughs> there's always like 40 bucks or 50 bucks yeah. or whatever. And, you know. Well, and, you know, I understand that for the online show, like for um, Artworks, their square foot show, does, I'm not telling anything that they haven't told us. It's a $15, $15 fee, I believe we paid. I can't remember. It's quite nominal. And you think it really, what it does is it covers the cost of them having the website for that period of time. I just think of it as a bit of a marketing cost. Yeah, right, right? that's not, that's very yeah. reasonable. But so. it is expensive to apply to a bunch of jury shows, especially if you're doing like a few at a time. Yeah. You have to really think about it. And this this time of year, there's so many going on, right? Mm -hmm. It seems like a really big cluster for mm -hmm. October, November, December. So you kind of have to pick and choose. Um, where Absolutely. You send your Absolutely. Um, okay, so I did have somebody who keeps saying they want to come on, but I'm not sure that they really do. I'm going to check. It's somebody I don't no, I'm not sure. Farouz, if you really want to come on, let us know. Otherwise, if you just keep hitting that button because it pops up, you do not have to request to be live to watch. If you request to be live, you're coming on the screen with us uh, to have a conversation and everybody else will see you, okay? So you can always type in the comment that that's what you want, just in case, because we've pulled people on before where they've been like, where they're oh. like, ah! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know. I thought that was just to, to watch. Well, well, I know what I'm looking forward to talking oh, about. Okay, go for and, it. And maybe um, without showing you what you're going to get, uh, we had on a few weeks ago, was it four weeks, three or four weeks ago, we had on um, uh, Sue Balmer and Sam Waters from the UK. And they were talking about this collaboration they have been doing for several months now on our making a concertina sketchbook together. And Sue's like posted a million phenomenal videos. Like yeah. if I can watch her videos and understand how to make one of these things and get like her tips and pointers, anybody could it do it. So, so helpful. we got 
got inspired. We thought, you know what, this would this would be a really fun project to work on kind of through those dog days of winter, which we get like days like this, um, when you might not necessarily be working on large pieces, but to make our own concertina uh, sketchbooks that we are then going to do a little bit of work on and then swap. So I'm going to mail mine to Tamara and Tamara is going to mail hers to me, add some more bits and bit pieces and then swap again. And I guess just keep going until they're done. Yes. Um, so it's kind of an exciting notion. <laughs> well, for me, I don't do a sketchbook. Yeah. I don't keep a sketchbook. So this is like, like brand new. But what I love about it is it doesn't feel like a sketchbook. I always found sketchbooks, like I've got them, you know, and you look at it and you got this giant page yeah. and it's like, what are you supposed to do? And generally the paper is um, not quite heavy enough that you can just throw lots of, you know, paper and yeah. paint and all of that stuff at it. But these are just, they, there's something really tactile. So this is, I made an air and a spare. This is my spare. Um, and I used uh, printmaking paper, which I love. You're going to see the printmaking paper. How thick is paper. it? How thick is it? Like how many pounds or how many GSM? Do you know? No okay. idea. Because I got this, I got this probably uh, 40 years ago, the printmaking paper. I have no idea. There is a watermark on it. And I, yeah. I guess you could look for it. But um, it's got the beautiful decalage, you know, like um, watercolor paper. Yes. And it folds beautifully, but it also even after like I've put gloss medium and, and you know runny acrylics and inks and all kinds of things it dries flat That's it doesn't great. all ripple up yeah it's almost like the more you throw at it the better it is like the more stuff you, you throw at it and and the paint works beautifully on it and you know crayon works beautifully on it so but what I love is it, it's just like there's I don't know. It appeals to like, are you finding that there's just something yes. about handling? I, I, I really like it. I'm just going to go like this. That's all you can see. Um, <laughs> oh, can I show a peek of the one you're going to get? I'm, I'm only going to show a tidbit. Peek. Only a tidbit. Okay. There. Awesome. <laughs> but it's like, it's yeah. so, I just, I don't know. I just, I, I think this is going to become a regular part of what I do. I, I spent like five hours yeah. on this yesterday. Yeah. And, well, and I like the early stages right now because it doesn't feel like anything has to be resolved. There's no composition issues. At least that's how I've treated it. I've treated it as, um, you know, different materials and different ways of applying the materials and different colors on it, but then leaving lots of white space for you to fill in. And it feels like the next step will be to take a look at each piece individually for me and go, okay, now how can I turn this into something a little bit more... Hmm. Um, of its mm -hmm. own, you know, as opposed to being attached to everything else, but mm -hmm. we'll see, right? Well, there were a couple of, of I'm not even going to tell you which ones, because I don't care if you cover it all up, but um, <laughs> there were a couple of, of uh, rectangles <laughs> that I really got into, and, and um, I, I actually did have to stop myself, or just say to myself, you know what, Tamara may just cover this up, and you're just going to have to be good with it, you're just going to have to suck it up, and just <laughs> let her do it, and I found as I kept going, I think I worked on maybe 10 of the pages mm -hmm. um, I was leaving more and more white space so I could kind of see yeah. an evolution of, of how I was approaching it and and but it was fun because I got to do something very busy and then I thought now I'm going to try something really simple and and with lots of breathing space and then yeah. looking at how they relate to each other so it's almost like uh I don't know. I guess people who keep sketchbooks, that's why they do it. Yeah. Well, but, it's not precious. No. Like I, you know, I bought a sheet of water. I bought a, I, I splurged and bought a sheet of arches. Um, mm, nice. Water color paper. Cause I liked the decal on the end. Yeah. The decal. It's, yeah. It's the beautiful part of it. But it's just, a, yeah. it's a really nice weight. And there's something about holding it in your hand too. Yeah. Like, um, and what I, I was surprised you with is, so I have actually bought a couple of concertina sketchbooks in the past from Sea White, which is a UK company, and they're not cheap. And to ship them is a lot of money, mm -hmm. but they come in these beautiful little boxes. So it fits in perfectly. So a really nice little way to package. So yours is going to come in one of these, and I have another one set aside. And when I send it back, I'll pop the other one in here because it's going to just keep them a little bit more safer. Safer, exactly. Yeah. I gotta figure out how to 
to send you this one. And we're working on both sides, right? I worked on both sides. I didn't make a cover yet either. No, no, no. Because no, I know no. Sue has done some some um, demos of how to make like a hard cover for the fronts and the backs. But since you and I both did more of that octopus as opposed to a strict book, it didn't, I don't know. I just I didn't think do we it. Maybe we will. Maybe I we will. Whatever page, like I'm, I'm looking at my first page and I'm thinking, you know, that's the cover, right? Yeah. Um, but you're going to see I've only tackled one side after I did the initial, um, okay. you know, ink and all, all of that. Hmm? So when are you mailing it to me? Are, we, are they going out tomorrow? Or this um, you're not going to get it tomorrow because uh, tomorrow's a special day. And I'm okay. going to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Alora with a couple of friends. Uh, but, you know, I'm having my workout class, and then I'm going to Alora, and then coming back later in the afternoon, and then going out for dinner. So I won't have an opportunity to go across the street to tomorrow's Barb's birthday. <laughs> Twenty nine again. <laughs> um, well, so one of the things that when Thursday, Thursday, it's going. Yeah. And one of the things that came up when, when we were talking about this when Sue and Sam were on is that we had a couple people who commented after when we shared that live that they were really interested in doing something like this, but they didn't have anybody to swap with. Mm -hmm. And there were some, you know, people have concerns like, I don't know, my thought is, oh, you just ask somebody, but not everybody kind of throws themselves at the world that way. <laughs> so I caught, somebody was like, more concerned you know like why well, how do i find someone whose work that i like that i think would be complimentary or i could work with so what we'll do is after this live is finished um we'll put a call to action in what gets saved and if you're interested leave a comment mm -hmm. and look through the comments and see who else is commenting and looking for a partner a swap partner and maybe you guys can kind of connect yourselves that way we're not going to connect you but no. we're going to find a way a that there's a little plat there'll be a platform for you to see if anybody else is interested and you can kind of you know reach out to each other it's not scary reaching out to people you don't know either we, we did. did we didn't know each other yeah like at all and now look at us and now look at us <laughs> we already booked our hotel for new york next yes fall. we did <laughs> I've been telling everybody, you know, we've already booked our trip for next year <laughs> because we've only been back like a month. And we did you notice I got a Black Friday deal on it though? No. Yes, I got a deal. They there's a special for Black Black Friday this year, and they let me apply it all the way up for a full year. That is fantastic. Uh, I know that is fantastic. All what right. Hey, well, I'm trying to read stuff. Uh, um, it's the same thing. Oh, oh, unless, okay. oh, has more stuff happened? Oh my gosh, I've missed a whole bunch of stuff. I just reserved it at my library. They had one copy. Awesome, awesome. Oh, of the, of the, um, all the beauty in the world? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my, my, once I clicked onto one comment, they're not scrolling for me now, so I missed everything. Douglas asks, how will we know when our books are done? When there's no nothing left to work on, because there's only 16 squares, so times two, that's 16 times two. 32 right yes so you have 32 pages i guess you would call it and when there's nothing left to do you're done and then you know what you do another one yeah that's why i've got my air and a spare well <laughs> because i have a feeling i'm going to miss not having one while i'm waiting for tamaris mm -hmm. to arrive right 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 well we were um when we were in new york we were talking a lot about how we might what kind of a collaborative project that we might mm. do and we had some other ideas that were probably <laughs> bigger pie in the sky more work ideas so this is perfect yeah um marnie says it's a great day ex daily exercise in releasing your attachment to work yes. basically learn to let go Oh yes, Marnie. You know what? That's my goal for next next ja for January. I want to work on two things. One of them is the process of detachment. Yeah. Um, and lower lower expectations. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to. Do also, it. I think there's so much to get out of this, um, and I've surprised my surprised myself at how much I'm enjoying it because I you know that ah, sketchbook right, but uh, I'm also looking forward to seeing how somebody else approaches something right and and especially if you're working on the same space like the same substrate really uh to see how somebody else looks at it and and what marks they choose to put down and color and all of that because it just gives you a whole other way of looking at what you're doing and things you might not have thought of 
and something like I to know you respond to. Yeah, and I know you love using those beautiful stencils, right? Um, and you know that that could be something where I see it with a mark I've made and just go, wow, that I can see using that kind of a tool in, in a painting and so it just how it just helps you i don't know it just expands your your horizons I, right i think it's going to be great um melody uh melody's looking for another artist melody ennist oh. art excellent she'd be a good one she she would. Be a good one. Um, nathaniel wants to know how we're doing and nathaniel this is an art chat so we're doing great thanks we're doing great <laughs> <laughs> when I'll make the plan, let me know. Uh, yeah, we got lots of time there <laughs> about next fall. Um, so anybody, does anybody want to pop on and chat with us? If you've got anything going on, if uh, you want to talk about Concertina sketchbooks, if you want to make a pitch Question. for finding or make a pitch for um, another artist, you can sell yourself. <laughs> while, <laughs> while we're waiting, I'm going to show you this. So I wish we had like bigger screen, right? But you can see how it opens. Yes. And then it kind of goes this way. Oh, this guy's all the way open now. So it's like this, but then it closes up really easily. Oh. I have a good folder too, but you know why? It's because you, it's because you fold it in both ways, right? I thought that was really valuable. You know what else I thought was good? What? That I was saw Sue using this to create the, oh, the, the um, brayer. I did you use the brayer? Yeah to create those really crisp folds. So you're not using your, your hands you can, and she did it. I saw like she started yeah. in the middle and then went sideways and it really, really worked well. Well, cause otherwise when you've got a big piece like that 33 inch width, right? It's very hard to get both ends even mm -hmm. if you lose your hand all the way down. Okay. I do have, um, I keep getting this, this invite, uh, Farouz, I'm going to offer you, I'm going to accept you. That means you're going to pop on here. Or not. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. Otherwise, it's always good um, to meet new people, but I, of course it is. Of course it is. Uh, I don't think it's working. Karen Stamper is brilliant at concertinas. Yes, yes, I've seen her concertinas mm -hmm. before too. Now, Brina, uh, are they different? Maybe yeah. Brina should come on and explain. Well, um, she can't right now. She said she's can't. Um, oh, okay. I this is how the books the ones that you buy look like this right they've got a hard cover this is one you, you really want to go back to my 2020 here we go this is a throwback when i started a concertina sketchbook in 2020 oh, i see your colors yep um i was using a lot of really vivid colors as i still do yeah. and i was just using it as a way of playing i was playing on two page spreads so, so is that so, all in one piece like if you yeah, were to pull yes. it out and how many how many um, sections? Uh, um, I don't know how many pages. One, and I haven't done the back side of these yet either. Um, I I don't know how many pages this one was. I guess I could count them: two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six. This is scintillating television. Twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two folds. So sixty-four. Pages. So it's, huge. It's, it's really big. Yeah, it's really, really big. Hmm. Oh, what did but Rena just say? She said she can only listen now, but Karen has lots of unique, helpful resources. I do follow her on IG. Yeah, She's me one too. Of, like, so many people that I can't keep up with yeah. on IG. Okay, hey, sure. here we go. Peruse, I'm going to invite you on. Let's see what happens. Always great to meet new people. Not going to work. Not happening. Anybody else? Nobody else. Douglas, we keep expecting you to show Douglas, your face. You got here. to come on sometime. <laughs> Not to put you on the spot or anything. No, no, no. Melody, do you want to come on and tell tell us, <clears throat> talk to us about your concertina, your hopes for a concertina sketchbook, pal? Mm -hmm. Melody, you've been on this before. Yes, Melody, easy. I'm pretty sure. Bond. Karen and Sally, Sally just did a great back and forth swap. Sally Hurst, is that right? Sally Gerd or Sally Hurst, maybe? Bonnie, I think I saw that too. So we're not, we're not, uh, we're just following along in a trend. <laughs> Melody says, nope, she's not coming on. <laughs> That's okay. You don't That's have to. That's okay. Oops, Sally. Can't read it. It's, 
Hurst. Sally Hurst. Sally Hurst. Um, okay. Yeah, I keep getting a request. I'm sorry, Farouz. I can't get you on. I keep trying and nothing's happening. So sometimes that happens. Mm -hmm. I'll try, try one more time. I'll try one more time. Sometimes you have to leave and come back. Been probably. Which, which I've had to do. You have. Well, this raises an interesting question. We're just going to throw this out to you guys now. We're doing an experiment today yes. because we had Susan Washington on and we had Isabel, Isabel Alessandra on the last two weeks. And we started um, sharing our collaborative as a collaborative post afterwards. And Instagram is telling us nobody watched either of those. Did you watch? Did you guys watch the replay on either of those? Can you leave a comment if you did? Because we don't know if Instagram's messing with us or there's something about us adding another um, collaborator on these that limits who they show it to or visibility. But just but, nice to know. But just but, nice to know. Um, I told you uh, when I did the. I do the social media for the Burlington Fine Arts Association and BFAA was added as a collaborator where there were already two people on a Instagram live. So I was the third yeah. as the BFAA. Sure enough, zero views, which I know is not uh, accurate because okay. people were watching and commenting, right? Yeah. But zero views. So it's just you and I, and I'm, curious to know if we'll still have a view count yeah. so it's an instagram thing that i think is a glitch i think it's a great idea to be able to you know have more than one or two people on a yeah. instagram live and then they can all share it to their feed but yeah. if you can't do a video count yeah and so view both, count, both rena and um, melody said that they watched so and those were both such great interviews i really enjoyed both of those they were great totally different yeah. Um, first, I can't get you on. So there's no point in requesting again and again. And I just I can't I, I've tried four times and nothing seems to happen. <laughs> um, this is my last shot. <laughs> this is my last shot. It's Instagram. This happens sometimes. Yeah. What yeah. else can we yak about? I mean, I don't we don't know. have to be on for now. We don't. We nobody don't. else will join if us. If nobody wants to pop on with us, then we, we don't have to bore you with more what else are you uh, working on, Barb? All I've been working on is the concertina sketchbook, other than the um, the totem back here, which is done. Do you recognize I, any part of that? I do. Yes. <sighs> we got to go back to New York just so I can get more, more paper stuff. stuff. More stuff. More stuff. And you're, yeah. you're 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 going to bring your own bags back this time, aren't you? I'm not letting you. Huh? I'm not letting you. You're not giving me anything. Any. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, and in fact, I'm almost thinking if when we go to a gift shop, I may ask for extra bags and extra stuff just because they're great to work with. And that meth bag, just beautifully, like it's like it was made to be collage because yeah. you can't even feel a difference between the bag and the pan. Oh, it's just like, oh, I love it's it. a dream. <laughs> it's a dream. I love it when it works like that i've only been working on our sketchbook and then i you know i've, I've got a big canvas on the go back here mm -hmm. that i'm just really playing with different colors right now i don't it's I, it's already it's already got a name i because i was listening to abba one day <laughs> and i decided oh. that this piece i there's a bunch of things i want to just try out that i've been wanting to do on some smaller pieces but haven't been brave. So this one's going to be called Take a Chance because I've got a couple of, yes, exactly. And so, so what I, is it you're doing? What is it you're trying to do that is different? Well, I want to bring in some more materials. So I want to start working on some more shading around the edges of my shapes. Yeah. Um, and I'm looking at a, like a Derwent pencil. So yeah. something that's going to add that extra depth around them, but that also is water soluble because I want to get a little bit of movement happening on there. I'm not going to add any paper or collage to it. I want to really keep it with paint. Um, and then my other thought is I was listening to Nick last week, Nick Wilton, and um, the last couple of our art to life um, podcasts that he has had, have you listened to them? They're about lessons from the, the things that have come up in uh his last i guess he's just been in morocco and mm -hmm. in spain maybe mallorca and 
he was talking about some principles above and beyond what he normally talks about mm -hmm. in Art to Life and some things that have been coming up. And one of the things that he was really talking about was proportion, mm -hmm. which is really interesting. I mean, it's part of design, but it's not, mm -hmm. I don't think it's necessarily one of the principles that he normally teaches, but he was coming up with some ways of getting at the idea of why proportion and variation and contrast in proportion can be really exciting. Mm -hmm. And so I'm kind of playing that loop in the back of my head right now and, mm -hmm. and thinking a little bit more about what I normally do when I'm working on paper is I crop things because I struggle with getting really, really big shapes or fields of color in my work. Everything kind of stays a certain size and smaller. Mm -hmm. And I would like to get that big, big variation. And so normally what I do is I crop small paper pieces and then you end up with, you know, like a big chunk of black on something mm -hmm. that you love, but you would never do that by your, I, I would not, feel brave enough to do that on a piece. Mm -hmm. So this piece is where I want to play around with some of those ideas now that I've kind of got it to this sort of middle stage that I like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is though where collage can help, not necessarily keeping it, but to try oh, it, right? Like true. Try, yeah. try before you buy yeah. so you can yeah. see, you know, if you had big bags, paper bags, blank, you know, and just paint them different colors and play around with, with no. them shapes a different scale because yeah it, it, it's it's funny because somebody who's not a painter might think well that's not a big deal to chip but it is <laughs> there is something it's about it. it it's it is taking a a, a creative risk right this is a 30 by 40 inch canvas so it's huge it's a big canvas to start with it's probably got about eight hours of work maybe 10 hours of work on it already and there's things i like mm -hmm. about it <laughs> so I don't want to just go in with, you know, a big swath of dark color and throw it across there. Even with a gloss medium, you can't get it all. If you, you know, even if with an isolation coat, you can't get it all off if you don't like it. And I hate having that instant sense of remorse after you do something big like that. Hmm. Uh, although it's often what you need to do. Um, it's often it. I find, yeah, at the time you kind of want to throw up <laughs> when you see it and you go, no, but then it makes you do something else that usually makes the piece better. Yeah. Well, and this piece isn't for anything. It's for me right yeah. now. This is, I mean, we can talk about this too, but with all of these shows that we have going on right now and pieces that were made specifically for a lot of shows this fall, I feel like the only exploration I've done just for me has been the start of this sketchbook project. Mm -hmm. So um, having something on the wall that is not destined, there's no deadline, I don't have to get anything finished for any time, I'm not thinking about what anybody wants, you know, themes for shows, um, it's really refreshing and I haven't been doing that this fall, I've been really painting to, um, painting to a theme or painting to a brief, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Bonnie, that's, that's what Barb was suggesting too, big marks on a piece of acetate works as well, mm -hmm. for sure. There are, those, are, those are good ideas, thanks guys, that might, that might be what I need to do. And I think to, the sketchbook, the concertina sketchbook is going to help too, because you can do something scary, but it's not scary. Because it's, it's not a, a sketchbook. small piece of paper. So, so, I mean, even for me trying a simpler composition, it's probably not something I would necessarily do on a canvas or a cradle wood, but for some reason on the little concertina, it just didn't seem, it didn't seem so scary. And I mean, there's a lot of collage as you'll see. So I've got shapes and things and, um, like it doesn't matter like it, it just and that almost should be the same mindset when we're working on I know big. I know like why should it be different it's like this isn't the putting range and then you go play golf like it uh, they almost should be you know the same like approach them with the same spirit and sometimes using a different tool like if you decide I'm not going to use brushes for something then it forces you yeah. into doing something differently um, which could be like a revelation yeah. as well yeah that's true and i do tend to get stuck in my tools after a while like i i the this work is main. this work here is mainly brush brushes there's a bit yep. of stenciling and brayer and some catalyst wedge early layers but it's been brush work probably for the last six hours um or so, so maybe it. switch it up yeah. with something hey lisa just popped on and i want to hear about her <gasps> lisa do you want to come on your workshop are you, are you decent are you decent this is a pop on we love it if people come on it live if you're decent and you're in a place and you want to come on and chat with us for about five Susan to ten minutes. Work, workshop because we don't have much time left so it would be like five minutes just tell us like 
Just send the highlights. Me an invite. Just send me an invite request. Unless she just ran away. Yeah. We just to come on or leave me a comment say i want to come on and i will uh do my best to get you on yeah and um, you know the, but the point about collage is too i i do love to collage when i'm on birch panel mm -hmm. i don't like collage on canvas as much have you noticed do, when you paint on canvas do you do mixed media as much that's canvas, that's canvas. And, and, wow. and um it's just a little different but it's still I still can be pretty, pretty aggressive with canvas, especially if there's a lot of paint already on the mm -hmm. surface, because that paint almost adds a protective layer. But this, this was all paint, because this was one of those new, I'm just going to use acrylic paint on it. And then I was looking at it and going, hey, it's just, it's so boring. And so when I had the MET bags, I thought that's exactly what it needs. And then I added other stuff too. Um, but no, it's, it's fine. And it can get nice and smooth. Um, I've done and some, you know, wider different. pieces. Yeah. yeah. So it because just... when when I've can when I've collaged on canvas, I've always used it as a base layer to respond to, mm -hmm. and then and sometimes I really like how you get those lines that show through the paint. I do too. And, and, with, and with subtraction, especially because it subtracts differently, how it kind of mm -hmm. sticks to the edge of your line. Mm -hmm. But I just wasn't sure I wanted to add that here. It might be, it might. It, the other thing Nick talked about was how sometimes we have way too much going on mm -hmm. in our art as in our life and curating and focusing only on a couple of the things mm -hmm. as opposed to trying to have so many different things yeah. going on um these are i i listen to him like it's like i'm going to church it's like my son <laughs> and he it's be a good just preacher, so, actually he would be a great preacher but you know sometimes it so you know we hear the same messages over and over again but sometimes yeah need to hear it said a slightly different way and it sort of percolates in your brain so that's been um that's kind of what i've been thinking about so i love yeah, those proportion ideas is, yeah proportion is is great it's it's all about those differences mm -hmm. um, reach your neck reach your neck <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking back about at some point we should yeah. have to back at some point we're talking about nicholas wilton of art to life fame who um many of the people we've had on as guests to this show have been part of his programs and there's a lot of connections in our in our community through him so if you don't listen to him already you should sign up for his yeah. email list the and uh, his, his yeah. sunday vlog and the wednesday 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 podcast right mm -hmm. who does he remind me of that what was his name that canadian radio guy he, he passed away a few years ago and he had all these little homey stories. Shoot. Oh, you know. I do. Uh, you know. Rick Clough? Who? Not Rick Clough. No, um, no. He used it. He told these stories about his family and there was a Dave and this and that. And he used to take his show on the road. But it was all the storytelling. Nick reminds me of this yes. guy. Even yes. physically. But what the heck's his name? I know. Who uh, listens to CBC? Oh, Gee. You know who I'm. He's written, he's written a book. There's books. He's too, written right? several books. Yes, yes, yes. And I can um, see him. He's even tall yeah. and kind of lanky. Tall, lanky. Yeah. Oh, well, it'll come to us. We'll figure it out and share. <laughs> or, I, and I can't check my phone. No, you can't. Because I'm on it. You cannot. Uh, well, I well, guess at least that it can't come on. That's okay. That's okay. So if anybody's interested in putting together, um, a, finding a partnership for a concertina sketchbook, a collaborative sketchbook, we will leave you an opportunity to, and a reminder to leave a note in the comments, not right now, because these no, comments are all going to disappear. Yeah. But once I, once we get off the broadcast, we save it, it gets saved on both of our um, pages and then we'll leave a call there and you can just leave a comment. And if anybody's watching it through Barb's guides, Guides are going away in about two weeks. Instagram is getting rid of guides. So it'll just be in both of our feeds and I guess under our video tabs is where you can always find the replays here. Yeah, actually that'd be the quicker way to find it, wouldn't it? Because there's not just the, the still carousel photos yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, just click I wonder on the why picture. they're getting rid of guides. Because it was too good an idea. Oh, like, like everything else, anything that's good, let's get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Instagram gods. We didn't mean it. <laughs> We're in trouble now. <laughs> We're in trouble. Zero views. <laughs> no views oh, well. for you. We don't care. The you guys that were here to watch and listen to us today, we just rambled. We're, you know, we hope that you find the, our our musings and ramblings at least a little entertaining <laughs> while you're in the studio. <laughs> On a miserable day.
Can I show another little piece? You can, you can show. Okay, I did get into my stencils a little bit. Just a little piece. Oh wow. Okay, you you did more. You're getting a more blank book than I No, am. no, no. You're also getting some blankish pages. Okay. Lots of those. Lots of those. Okay. You'll, you'll see exactly where I was working. And feel free to go into those ones that you think have got lots of stuff. And God, that was so we're going to get you on another time. Stuart McLean. Stuart McLean. Yes, Who got it? <laughs> Who got Stuart McLean? It's Tamara Miam. Yes. yes. Stuart McLean, who I think is really Nick Wilton. Okay. Although Stuart McLean did pass away a few years ago. It's do they're doppelgangers. Everybody's got a doppelganger. They're doppelgangers. Even the voice, you know, like I can't do Nick's voice and I can't do Stuart McLean's no. voice. But it's like easy to listen to. It can kind of lull you off to sleep. And confession, I used to, <laughs> when I would listen to Nick's, when I was doing the Creative Visionary Program and he'd, he'd have on his, his live videos and I would like make the mistake of reclining on our sofa. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I've like fallen asleep because he's got one of those voices. He's not boring, not remotely. But no, it's, it's just Melodious. soothing. It's like yeah, yeah, it lulls you into this state of of uh, you know kind of like relaxation, and it's just so easy going. So yeah, I, I did fall asleep through a number of those, but um, I could listen to the recordings. Thank God, you absolutely could. Um, so we are booking into January now, and. That's right, Jules. It's a good way to get it into your subconscious. That's exactly what I like about right. listening to it, especially when I'm doing something else, yes. because it's just kind of, it just percolates. It's like a little earworm. You get a little bit in there and you're not even aware of it. And no. then it's come out later, which is so valuable, right? Not like us. <laughs> I'm sure. We are not soothing. And no, no soft I don't think we are quite the same way. Soothing. You no, might have... be a little more soothing than me. I'm not <laughs> soothing. We have too much energy i think um, so i think so but anyways yeah if people have suggestions uh yeah. or if you want to come on i mean we know a number of people who watch yes. us every week we'd love to have you on yes and somebody did ask you know what what does it take to get an invite on this show it's like send us a direct message and say hey i'll watch your show i'd love to come on and chat we'll be like great here's the contract yes <laughs> well, very, you, very, you know just get um, you and your lawyer sit down and read through it <laughs> <laughs> find the releases exactly the screenshots you know, we, we i do have a list that i was keeping track of from last oh, time yeah. we had suggestions and so we need we do need to start book doing our january bookings it's just this time of year feels really hard to ask people to do things because it feels like everybody's overtasked right now right no i would yeah we can hold off i i would have loved to have asked lisa if she felt that susan malrath would be perhaps receptive to coming on okay lisa we asked you that now you can let us know send us uh, a dm this, thank you douglas popped off yes okay uh, well, we'll thank you but but we wouldn't soothe you off to sleep would we douglas we'd probably be good to wake up to <laughs> turn us on in the morning and and it's better than a cup of coffee we're great to have cocktails with just saying oh my god we're the best <laughs> to have cocktails <laughs> we think <laughs> Especially after the third one. Especially, what's our rule? How many margaritas? Never, always have? say no to the fourth oh, margarita. Oh, now it's the fourth. It used to be the no, third. No, it was the fourth. The Are fourth you was, sure? Yes, I'm sure it was the fourth because it was the fourth in the rooftop garden oh, yeah. bar that got me. Hmm. And there but, was a spiral staircase we had to walk down. If I, I'm not I don't remember it, Bonnie. I you're being no, Bonnie no is being, going down that spiral. Staircase. Bonnie's being very virtuous and having a smoothie. <laughs> I have my bubbly. Good job. All right, shall we wrap yeah. up? Let's wrap okay. up. Well, it was nice to chat with everybody. It was yeah. good to see you. Happy birthday tomorrow! Thank I wish you. you the biggest, fattest, tallest piece of chocolate cake possible. Oh, yeah that i'm gonna have that so no worries about that and there might be one or two cocktails because we are walking to the restaurant it's like the other side of the street if you go out our back door and um i'll just like you know roman will guide me home i love it i love it. happy birthday barb says douglas ah thanks. Oh, thanks thanks douglas Anyways. All right, so we will catch you guys next week pauline jans is coming to visit with us um so we'll We'll get that promoted and we're looking forward to chatting with her.
Another Canadian. Yep. Thanks, okay. Bonnie. 29, Bonnie, I'm going to be. And holding. 29 and holding. More like 10. In my brain, I am 10. 29 is generous. Like, I honestly, say 25. 25 is my age that I always remember myself as. When I always think of how old I am, I think 25. I honestly do think of myself as a kid. I, I know. I can see it. Yeah, it's like good. seriously. Like it's like, I don't know how all this happened, but I'm still, you know, yeah. the goofball kid I was. So, All right. Have a great rest of your day, Thank and you. um, I'll pop something in the mail for you on Wednesday or Thursday. And uh, oh, when they come, it's going to be so exciting! It will be. Yeah. Okay, guys, thanks All so right. much for joining us today. Happy birthday, Barb! And, Thank you. Uh, Thanks for coming. Okay. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.